Yep. Bradley is back with rowing video either 29 or 30. I'll figure it out later on and tell you what it is when I do my description below. Okay. I got my delicious lemonade. Look at that. It was fall, but I've been drinking it the last few days. Pretty good stuff. 100% natural, all organic. We only sell this at Cub Foods. Woohoo! Anyway, got the Stooges over there. Roy machine, my tire, my bottle of pills, my radio drama below me or above the wall. You just can't see it. The fan is right there, keeping me somewhat cool. Okay, let's get going, man. I'm babbling too much. My second attempt at the video tonight. I didn't like the first one turning out the way it did, so I decided to restart it. All right, here we go. I got a few things to talk about. Got to get my hacky sack set. All right, here we go. My 22 inch dildos. <laughs> oh my God. All right, here we go. Just in case it starts sweating, I got my handkerchief. Probably gonna need it a couple times because it's pretty buggy right now. Ugh. First of all, let's start here. A friend of mine at work, probably the only friend I actually have in the world. I won't call her exactly a friend, but uh, she loathes me. She gave me this thing for my videos for pointing, like little pointer. See that? It's kind of cool looking. God damn it, son of a bitch, man. <laughs> This is plastic. Let's take another swig of this shit first. Stooges are hilarious as always. They gotta got that fan in the window right there. Oh my god. This shit is fucking good, man. This will get rid of any stomach aches or it'll hydrate you beautifully. Perfect stuff, man. Especially in the summertime. Alright, one stooge over. Oh. I did get those three bottles of Bust Bunny in the mail about four or three days ago. I'm going to show you a bottle. They're right, one of them's right down there. All right. Come on, another stooge here. There we go. Well, everything is pretty much the same as any other previous rowing video. You know, I just, let's get to the bus bunny first. This is what I was talking about. I ordered three of these in the mail and they came out like three or four days ago. I have yet to even open one of them and start taking them. They recommend you take maybe up to two a day at the very most, but I'm only gonna start with one per day and see how it affects me. I don't wanna make myself sick and you no, know, end up in a hospital or something. You know what boobies out to here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's called Bust Bunny. Yeah, they advertise these on TV and everything, man. Big product all around the world. Check them out. Okay, enough of that. I'm sure you're probably disgusted already, right? That's what I do. My goal in life is just to disgust you. <laughs> anyway, last night I did Spidey Presents, a movie called Horror of Spider Island. What a piece of shit. Piece of fucking shit. I could only give it three and a half out of ten spider webs. God! Like a West German movie from 1960. Oh, God. It makes me want to just take that whole bottle. <laughs> Terrible movie. Okay, we got the Stooges doing some wallpapering or something. This is the episode where Mo gets hurt. He actually falls down off his table and he breaks some ribs, for real. They actually kept filming the episode because the show must go on, of course. But he actually got hurt. It's pretty nasty, but he, he, just, he just worked through, through the pain, man. I guess he broke some ribs. <laughs> anyway, so we got done. Uh, oh, God, look at that. 
Yeah, you could tell he got hurt, man. That was the death thing. They kept it in the goddamn short. Absolutely for real, man. Yeah, he's barely moving, man. He hurt. You can tell he's in pain. Well, anyway, enough of that. Stooges. I love the Stooges. The show must go on, right? So, last night... Well, actually, I was at work, of course, on Friday and Saturday this past week. And it was pretty terrible again. Uptown Shitville Cup Foods. Shitville? Yeah, Shitville Cup Foods. And, man... You know what I think about half our customers. You know, they've been... They have locking cases on half of our uh, uh, medicine and shit and, you know, lane 11, 12, 13, and 14. You need a key to get in. You got to call for a key to go there and get it, unlock it and give them the shit they want, like laundry detergent or whatever it might be, or shampoo. Oh, my God. Fucking goddamn man. I'm getting sick of that shit. Fucking just keeps getting worse and worse and worse, man. God. You're gonna lock up the toilet paper and the pampers and the baby wipes too, I think. Oh, God. The fucking hilarity never ends, does it? Anyway, like I said, pretty bad on Friday, and then Saturday, of course, was just fucking horrendous because I never seen such a horrible crowd in my life on Saturday. We just couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there at 10 o'clock, man. Grabbed my groceries, got got to my weekend. <laughs> just walked home, just, you know, oh my God, ready to cry, man. Terrible people, about half of them. You know how I think about, what you know what I think about the, uh, most of our customers, you know. I've gone through this how many goddamn times in my rowing videos. It doesn't get any better. It just keeps getting worse with the locking cases now and most of our medicine type products and all that kind of shit. You know, and makeup shit and, you know, everything, man. This sucks. It's fucking it's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing we have to lock up all that shit. You know, because of the people that steal up there constantly, you know. Uptown Minneapolis, you, you don't have to, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Thieves, homeless people, drug addicts, gangbangers, organized crime fuckers. And what else can I say? Agitators, people just looking to cause uh, problems in Minneapolis. Oh, God. Anyway, that's enough of that shit. You know my views about that store. I don't have to keep going through it every fucking time. It gets worse every fucking week. So basically, that's pretty much the end of the story right here. If you, you know, just look at my other videos recently. My rowing videos. I explained it thoroughly. Just like I'm trying to explain it here. You know... But we're going to end it right here. I got more interesting stuff to talk about. Not that shit up there. Fucking up there in Cub Foods. God. I wonder if they had any problems the last two days. Because I haven't been there since Saturday night. So <laughs> now we'll be back till next Friday. All right. Well, like I said, I did that movie uh, review last night. And it was pretty, it was a decent review. Thank God it was a little cooler when I did, uh, had to put the Spidey suit on, but tonight it would have been too muggy and hot to do that. Thank God this rowing video, video follows usually on Monday nights, which we are in Monday nights. So, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a video tomorrow, Tuesday, possibly on Wednesday. Not sure what though. Have, maybe I'll do one of these women. Right here. How about that? I could, I could do... I could do a Maya. <laughs> this is my rum. This is my rum, man. And this, uh, this one, I think, is so fucking cool, man. Like I said before, if you look at my videos from about a year and a half ago, straight down, something like that, you, you see that I did some of these women, you know, in uh, little 
three, four, five minute, uh, you know, romantic type videos with goofy music and flowers in their hands and stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that again. Plus my own particular drag makeup too. So I'll actually be joining the ranks of these beautiful women and the ones up here too. You can't see them. They're very similar to the ones down here. And uh, I don't know, a lot of stuff going on right now. You know, I'm just trying to, uh, like I told you before, I'm just trying to branch out, trying to find new avenues of excitement, new avenues of uh, different ideas, you know. Plus my rowing videos, my painting. I worked on my paintings today. I'm just about ready to show you my latest painting called uh, uh, The Road Home. I worked on it for about two hours today. I do a little more work on it, and we're going to call it over. And then I'll display it on my YouTube channel, like I have a couple months ago with those other paintings. Uh, you might like it. It's pretty much, it's kind of pretty damn gloomy. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get back to the rowing. I'm getting off the beaten track here, and I don't know why. I'm going to try to keep those rants about Uptown Shitville Cup Foods to a minimum tonight. And, of course, Uptown Minneapolis. Uh, I'm not really looking forward. I'm not looking forward to summer here. It's starting to get muggy already. It seems like it'll be warm for about two, three days in a row. Then we'll have a cool front move in. Which is nice. Hopefully there'll be a cool front cool front moving in pretty soon. I don't like this hot sticky weather, man. I don't mind it being nice and sunny and warm, but not muggy and disgusting. It makes my crotch want to fucking fall off. <laughs> oh. Well, I think this video should get a whopping seven views, so that's pretty much the size of my rowing videos nowadays. Uh, I don't care though. I just do them just to amuse myself. <laughs> a lot of people just look at them and go, oh, another 30 minute board, uh, board fest. Let's wait for the next video. Maybe tomorrow night or the night after. <laughs> oh, I bought this spray too. I ordered this spray from England. It's actually, I don't know, it probably is not going to work. It's actually supposed to feminine up your voice a little bit. Uh, it's like, a, it's, well, it's part of the drag queen, you know, that, that trans type stuff where maybe the voice is too strong and it kind of maybe tones it down more feminine sound a little bit. I, I don't know, I'm probably not gonna work, but it's, I decided to order it. It's like, a, it's like a little spray bottle, or you just, you know, 30 bucks or something like that. Probably a waste of money. I just wanted to see, I wanted to see if it'll kind of like, you know, make my voice a little more feminine. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh, I'm a sucker for every gi every gizmo on, on the internet, man. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna try that, see if it works. You know, you can only try it. If it doesn't work, then I wasted my money, right? I'm not too concerned about wasted money, you know. You can't take it with you, isn't it? Isn't that the old saying true? That old saying is absolutely true. You can't take it with you. You might as well just save some money for your old age, and then, you know, when you die, you die. It goes to somebody else. And who knows? I don't know who's going to go when I die. I have nobody waiting for me <laughs> to die. Oh, there's a lot of people waiting for me to die, but, you know, I'm just going to disappoint them for a while, right? You know? <laughs> They're not getting it. I don't have no fucking will, so... I suppose the safe stay will just probably... Or wherever I end up when I retire completely. I suppose they'll just uh, throw in a big, you know, vault or something. <laughs> just, you know, maybe they'll auction it off or something, you know, all this... All this shit, you know. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't plan ahead like that because, you know, I really don't care who it goes to. There's nobody in my life that would really deserve it, especially, of course, no friends, of course. And they're, 
Yeah, I would never give them any fucking shit for what they did to me in the last, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, whatever you want to call it. Especially the backstabbers over at, over at that fucking store I used to work for. <laughs> over here in uptown Minneapolis, you know who it is. You know the, you know the douchebags. Not the current store, the one right before. You know what I'm talking about. I don't have to mention names. It's all in my It's on my videos here and there. You know, and stuff like that. I don't rant about them much anymore. They're not worth the skin they're printed on. <laughs> it's so true. They're not worth the fucking skin they're printed on, man. Oh my god. Isn't that such an accurate statement, man? They know who they are. Question! <laughs> Not worth the fucking skin they're printed on. Oh, that was pretty cruel, wasn't it? Yeah, but you know something? It's the fucking truth. It's the fucking truth. Backstabbers, man. Just... Dishonest backstabbers. I don't trust anybody, folks. That's why I, I limit my friends to a big fat zero. <laughs> because I was talking to a couple of younger kids up at the store here on Friday and Saturday, and they agree with me 100%. They go, you know, you're absolutely right, Bradley. Don't trust anybody. Not even your family members, your relatives, nobody. Don't trust anybody. Just keep your... It's probably better not to have any friends. Because with friends, you certainly don't need enemy, right? That's about the size of it, right? A lot of people go, well, that's such a negative attitude. You should have a little more faith in mankind. Really? Really? Look at the fucking world. You want me to have faith in mankind? In humanity? Are you fucking insane? Have you taken too many of those bus bunny pills? <laughs> you fucking idiots. Anyway, so, yeah. I'd rather just hang out by myself to the end of my days. You know, I don't need friends, man. Friends are way overrated. Can't trust any of them, man. Can't even trust your family members. You can't. They will throw your fucking ass under the bus as fast as they look at you or can spit in your face, man. It's either their fucking skin or yours. And you know where they're gonna they're gonna sacrifice your skin, of course. They always do. You know, they stick a knife right between the shoulder blades. <laughs> it's a fucking truth, man. Yeah, so I'm very content not having no friends. <sighs> I used to have somewhat kind of friends when I used to work at that other store, but they fucking just fucked me over so bad. You know, enough of that shit, man. That was the end for me. And there was only a few of the few people I could call friends, but you know, they're long out of my life, so long gone out of my life, so that's that's just fine. <laughs> I make light of this, but it's the truth, man. It's the fucking truth. You know, you gotta you gotta fend for yourself in life, man. Stay away from pretty much everybody. Just go to your job, go shopping once in a while. You know, do your hobbies. Try to find some peace and uh, peace and quiet in your life, and accomplish a few things. You don't need nobody. At least that's my views on it, right? I'm sure a lot of you're gonna differ with me, but you know. You know, it's pretty much that's what it is, isn't it? That's how bad I've been fucked over all my life by people. So-called friends and co-workers and shit like that, you know, and acquaintances and, you know. Fuck, fuck them all, man. Fuck them all. That's why I only, that's why I have no friends. This, I, I can't trust nobody. Can't trust anybody, man. Isn't that fucking sad? When you can't even trust anybody? Because you don't know how they're, why, when they're gonna fuck you over? <laughs> I 
okay enough with that man you got my views on that so that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much cut and dry right there man oh one other thing if I ever run into somebody who used to work for me they come up and try to talk to me don't come up and talk to me I don't want to talk to you you're part of that crowd just stay away from me I'm happy content doing what I want to do I don't need any reminders of the horror I went through in the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Oh my God, yeah, so true. It is so true. Oh, how much time, okay. Man, I'm really ranting tonight. 20 minutes, we got plenty of time, man. All right. Yeah, so those are my views on people. Oh my God. Yeah, and I'm, I'm always going to stick with those views because, frankly, it's just the truth. Well, I don't hate everybody in the world. Maybe only half the people in the world. How about that? That'll make you a little more happy, more content. But still don't talk to me. <laughs> you see me walking on the street, just walk in the other direction cross over to the other side of the street and walk in uh, the other direction, please. Just do that for me. Because I'm just going to tell you to go away. I'm very blunt about telling people to get the fuck away from me. You know, they try to come up and talk to you. I say, get the fuck away from me, man. Get, get, go, go make a connection with your drug supplier. Get the fuck away from me. That's the truth, man. I have an extremely negative view of people, man. And I don't have to tell you why. Just look at the world as it is right now. Yes. Tell me how positive it is. Okay, let's talk about something else. Well, got the Stooges in a hot one here. So, like I said, I got my... I got my new drag queen persona reset. I had this one name which I'm going to use that's called, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. It's already being set up. So it's not one of these women. It's actually me. And uh, uh, I'm going to try to do some drag queen videos and other than this stuff too. So, you know, I'm slowly getting things done. I got my new uh, electric scooter about a week and a half going to FedEx. I got... Uh, you know, other things in the mail, and I'm all set up for stuff. I got those pills down below. You know, I got my wardrobe all set, you know, for my own drag queen stuff. And, uh, you know, I just, I'm just getting stuff done. I just like to accomplish shit, man. Paintings are going pretty well. You know, videos are going pretty well. Life is decent, as long as I don't have people coming up trying to bother me. Which I already told you to tell them to get the fuck away, you know. I got goals and dreams, and I want to accomplish them, and I don't want you interfering with them. Just go talk to your buddies. <laughs> That's the truth. Your little studio looks really good. You know, I'm fucking just, uh, Annabelle fell off the perch about two uh, Spidey videos ago. I was sitting there doing a movie, can't remember the name of it. She fell right off the per uh, her perch or little chair or whatever it is. Oh my god, this. She, she is really pissed at me. Really pissed at me. She's pretty good though. I don't know, something, not much going on otherwise. You know, I'm just sitting there ranting, making jokes. Uh, you know, and uh, telling you about other things that have been going on in my life in the last week or so. I'm going to be taking that electric scooter down to the lakes pretty soon. It's already set up. It's about 25 miles per gallon. I mean per charge. And uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty light. You can just pick it up. You fold it up. Fold the handles down and you just carry it around. You know, up and uh, down the staircase where you live or whatever in your building. So, I'm probably going to do that pretty soon. Actually, on one of my off nights... Just go down to the lake, take a cruise down around the lake, and see how she works. Not much else going on, though. Oh, 
telling you folks. You know, when I first started these rowing videos, I was kind of showing you how to row, but you know, I've kind of gotten to the point where you kind of know what's going on with the rowing machine. So basically, I'm just kind of telling you about my updates really nowadays, right? Well, I did electrolysis my hands today, and my trying to get off all the hair off my hands. You know, I think it's working actually. I got a couple electrolysis machines, you know, little hand jobby things. It's actually doing pretty good. I like that. So that's another thing I've been doing. Otherwise, not too much going on. Like I said, about eight times already. Besides what I'm telling you. Oh, I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to just keep kicking away in the stuff I've been trying to do recently. And then I'm going to maybe try to do those, you know, open field uh, camcorder videos. You know, rainstorm at Lake of the Isles or something like that. That's still on the agenda if I can get to it. I don't know, man. I'm just having fun. Trying to do the things that intrigue me. You know, staying away from people. You know, stuff like that. It's 10.30 right now, man. Here in Uptown Shipville, just looking at the clock in front of me. I got another half a gallon of this in my refrigerator. A little colder than that. That's starting to get a little warm. Oh man. A lot of stuff going on. Basically, I just kind of get up in the morning, wash up, shave, start working on uh, my projects, really. That's about it. Wait for the mail. Anything's coming in. Not too much right now, but. You know, just, just, uh, just trying to cope from day to day. You know. Oh, it's worth millions. Let's sell it on the open market for one point three billion dollars. <laughs> so, uh, what's everybody been up to, man? Tell me your story. I don't want to hear your story. It's boring. It's nothing to do with me. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm be doing too many other videos other than Penny and Butcher and uh, Freddy and you know. And uh, Spidey. Summertime is awfully hot, man. We got an air conditioner, but you know, it's still muggy. Best to do the videos in the spring, summer, or fall, when the weather's a little more uh, pleasant on your skin. <laughs> Not too much, though. Uh, I gotta try to get Penny in tomorrow night or Wednesday night. It's been about a week or so since I did him. Yeah. Not much. How much time we have to do? Let me check my clock. Yeah, we're done. Okay, we're going to call this one over because I haven't really said too much. Just wanted you to show some products down here. Things like that, so... Oh, I think this is a glowing video, either 29 or 30. Not real sure. I'll check it out when I post this video in a few minutes. After I view it, make sure it turned out good. So that's about it for tonight, folks. Well, it was hard to do this video tonight because of the humidity and the heat. I decided to do it anyway, so I like to do these on Monday or Tuesdays, since we're into Monday. 
Might as well just get it over get it over with tonight. Probably won't be back till next Monday or Tuesday with the rowing video though. Other videos, but not this one. So we're gonna get going. Thanks for listening to me rant. We will see you probably in about a week with more insights into my fascinating life. Gotta go, man. You take it easy, folks. All right, here we go. Well, that was boring. <laughs> See you later, man. <laughs>